Pulpy playing Bakusora, Matty Pocket playing Vamana, and Lassis playing Hebo. Why don't you go over ESG side? ESG side, we have Young Bay playing on her, Spoo playing his favorite Wukong, Honey Badger, Ymir, Lobster with Agni, and Hyrock as Guan Yu. Yes, sir. Um, I like the picks. I like the bands. Um, Young Bay really comfortable with on her, um, and I love the Ymir pick on Honey Badger over on the ESG side. We mm -hmm. saw Stu do work with Wukong last game. I'm really, really surprised that Reason Gaming did not ban him for this next game. Um, and uh, I love, I love Vamana on Matty Pocket. I think that's a great pick. Uh, Vamana just got that awesome buff from uh, the last patch. So I, I feel like he's really strong in jungle fights. And in the end of the day, I think jungle fights really determine the outcome of the winner uh, for these next two games or one game, depending on how ESG and Reason play this one. I absolutely agree. Absolutely agree. I am actually very impressed with Honey Badger getting that Ymir. He is very comfortable on Ymir, as well as Lobster with Agni. He's probably going to be running that side lane, I do believe. Is... We yeah, do you'll have... Go ahead. You'll have uh, on her and Ymir both on the left side. It's a super strong lane because you can you can uh, stun with uh, on her into Ymir's all uh, into Ymir's wall rather, and uh, that's just a fun mechanic, good for uh, ganks for kills, so on and so forth. Uh -oh. So you can call that a kill lane, dude. I really would. Uh, Kiedra on the left lane, running away from Spoo on that Wukong, and High Rock is right there as well. Looks like Kiedra <sighs> might have just been caught out. He does dash out. Can he get out? There's a slow from that High Rock as well. Big dash, trying to put down the damage they need to win him. He already burned his heavenly agility, trying to get out of there. He's got no help from anybody. Oh, he does go down. Oh. Not sure. Not sure what he was doing over there. He was pushed up way too far. That's a early gold advantage, early XP advantage. You just don't want to give up. It is. I agree. I think they were going to possibly steal that buff, but it just doesn't seem like a good risk to take, especially when there was three of them over there for a short time. It was just that one person too. And uh, <clears throat> something different we see this game than we've seen all day from Reason Gaming is Lassis only has blue buff. He does not have that gold buff. Uh, he might have. They might have figured that maybe that extra golden XP would be garnered uh, healthier from a creep wave rather than that gold. I'm not sure why he didn't go for that. I know it's still up. That's just a little bit odd for me. Hmm. Maybe decided to return the lane after they got that early kill and decided it was worth just putting pressure on the mid lane to make sure that they don't try and take advantage of anything else. Yeah, that could be it. Uh, he did get Lobster to use that early health pot. Um, a lobster just weirdly missed that stun. It probably just a like a really random mouse fling or something he wasn't expecting. Uh, moving over to hopefully the left lane. There we go. Um, we do have Ymir pushed up pretty hard against Hero GG and Matty Pocket, uh, doing the best they can to sustain. There goes the double stun. There goes the stun of Matty Pocket from that on her too. Uh, Ying Bei getting in there, but Hero GG just puts that heal up. Looks like they're sustaining pretty pretty well. It does, it does. They're going to be having a little trouble here with that lane, I think. Do you think that the Vamana and Ra can really outpush a uh, on her and Ymir? Um, after four or five levels, yes. Um, uh, like When I think of Vamana, I, I just feel like it, he's a pushing god. Uh, three levels into his shield throw, we'll just do that for you and following up with a two attack, that'll clear any wave. It just will. So um, it's just they're going to have to bide their time for probably six, seven minutes and go from there. Honey Badger and Young Bay are going to be taking this uh, attack buff here, so we will see if that Matty Pocket and Hero GG are going to come Ooh! and contest it. Big ult from Lassis on Agni. Uh, he he popped in there. He threw down his slow, and he just ulted. Uh, no time to dash uh, mid for that lobster. Uh, very 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 good play from Lassis mid. And taking down that tower too. So he's really putting on the pressure from last game comparatively. Yeah, that's a three-minute tower. Uh, Kiedrill does miss his fling there on the right lane. Uh, not sure that would have been a kill on Spoo, but it could have uh, added some pressure there. They did have creeps behind him. Uh, so missing that fling probably could have cost him uh, some golden XP, giving it to Spoo because he didn't have to go back out of lane. Uh, Spoo does have that red buff, so he's a really scary monkey right now. He is. Over on left lane, they're not really doing much, just farming creeps. Because that Guan Yu did have to go mid to help make up for... Lobster getting killed, so he's just making sure those creeps don't get pushed into the next tower. Looks yeah, like they're going to try and take down Lassis here. Throws down the slow and throws down the drum beating spell on him. Yeah, look at if you look at Lassis, he's six compared to Lobster's three. Yeah. And right now with Guan Yu, High Rock, and Lane, Lobster is splitting XP as well. Um, 
Maybe High Rock tries to uh, tries to get in there for an ult. He might just be baiting this uh, this return. We'll have to see. He actually does go back. Uh, Lobster gets his four, and Lassis gets his seven. So three, uh, still a uh, three level skill dis or, uh, level disparity there mid. Yeah, that's gonna be pretty rough for Lobster here. Looks like he might even be able to get the second tower down. In maybe another wave if he can manage it. But High Rock is coming back Ooh, to help him push. A little bit of lag there. <clears throat> I think the I think the um, the server, the exploit server is trolling me or the Twitch server is. Are you still there, Demon? I am, sir. Okay, cool. A little little robotic. It's probably on my side though. Exploit's been or uh, Twitch has been trolling me pretty hard. Well, that's good. I'm locally recording this too, so we have a good uh, quality, I guess, recording in case we need it. Well, that's good. It looks like uh, High Rock does come back over mid to help zone Lassies. Uh, maybe a little bit of babysitting for Lobster here. Uh, he's a little bit behind. Wolfie comes mid as well to say, you know what, uh, get out of here, Guan Yu. This is Lassies' lane, and I don't want you here anymore. So just a uh, presence with that extra body is kind of maybe turning that Guan Yu off on staying there for too long. Mm -hmm. Guan Yu's going to be going back Lassie's and getting that blue buff. Back to spend some of his hard... Now you're kind of chopping out a little bit. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. I think um, I think Twitch is trolling me again. Uh, oh. While we have a small lull in the action, we can look at some items and abilities. Um, Sobek went for a or uh, Kiedro went for a Hand of Gods and Heavenly Agility, while uh, Raw just went for Reinforced Boots and Jump of Isolation. Bakasura is on Warrior Tabby and Executioner with Hand of Gods. Vamana Hand of Gods and uh, looks like a Creeping Curse. Looks like we have a bit of a fight over here. Uh, looks like Wolfie is going to go down. Lassis puts down as much damage as he can. I don't think he's going to be out of there. Spook comes over and says, nah, you shall not pass, bro. Nope, Lassis going down, and that is bringing it to 1-2. to two. ESG having a two-kill lead right now. This is ESG's kinda... Go ahead. I was going to say, they're playing lights out, man. They're making great decisions, uh, awesome ganks. Uh, they're building really well to win. And if you can build well to win, that's going to put you in a situation where come mid and late game, you can you can mitigate some of that damage you need to or dish out the damage you could that would have been mitigated depending on the item. So I just I feel like they're building the way that they should to beat this reason gaming team. I agree. So why do you think that there's not as many Hand of Gods as we're used to? Well, they did increase uh, Hand of Gods, and they also increased the price of boots. Um, uh, something we've seen a lot of today is we've seen a lot of three ability builds, uh, like Hand of Gods, a Creeping Curse with Heavenly Agility. Um, so I think it's been people grabbing them just to be able to sustain the lane and get those buffs so the other team can't. Instead of going just all out Hand of Gods, they're building just enough to be able to jungle and counter jungle when they need to, instead of just dominating with Hand of Gods. Um, so maybe, maybe... Um, uh, High res got it right with their little tweaks. Uh, we'll yeah. have to see moving forward what happens in some uh, some of the other events as well. Yeah, it's it's just a little unusual. I was kind of shocked when I didn't see four hand of gods on both teams. I mean, even ESG has only got two. Well, last game we saw five, I think, from Reason Gra Gaming when um, uh, we had um, Odin mid. So I, I guess we've had the um, both the extreme and the low side of hand of gods uh, in the series here. Yep. Yep. Just taking and some buffs over here on right lane from the the monkey gets that attack speed buff or attack damage buff and so he's gonna be getting ready to just clear these waves while Ymir is also trolling around somewhere. I don't see where he went. Oh Ymir <clears throat> he is uh left lane, he's in that creep wave, dude. And uh it looks like Lassis did just finish that Warlock Sash, so he'll be farming some uh stacks for that as well. He was back in lane where Agni went mid after pushing that last lane so he could buy uh, maybe a Void Stone. Not sure what he's going here. <clears throat> nope, he's got Aegis. Uh, he maxed out Spear of Magus and he's got tier 2 reinforced boots. Nice. Looks like on the left side here, uh, Ymir and Anher has got Hero GG on this raw. Pushed in pretty far. Um, and they've got a full creep wave coming in as well where Medi Pocket and their creep wave is just a bit delayed. Um, looks like we might have a... Big gank here mid. I think Lassis might have hit that Aegis. He is sitting in that fire. He is kind of stuck right now. Not sure where he can go. There's that last ult charge. And that will bring Lassis down. Uh, they're keeping him at bay pretty well here. Very nice. Very nice. Continue. I'm getting like a bunch of billion messages. 
Oh, no worries, dude. Uh, looks like Sobek and Wolfie on Reason Gaming side from right lane are going to go back, regen health and mana, and uh, buy their items real quick before they can take down this tower on right side. Uh, Spoo doing work for that Wukong. He's buffing really hard. He is farming very decently. Um, again, I, I can't understand why they didn't ban Wukong after they saw what uh, they what he did to them last game. Yeah, I agree. It seems like that they should have definitely banned the Wukong, but then would there be another god that they would be more afraid of? Because they, who did they ban out was the question. Ugh, uh, Cupid and um, I don't mm. remember who the god, other god was horrible. But it does look like they're setting up for a fire or a, a, a gold fury rather. Yes, it does. There's three of them over here, um, and they, I am lagging something fierce, and I don't know why. They pulled it too far, and did it reset. So. Nope, hey, they pulled it too far, it reset, and Matty Pocket's going to be over there as the Vamana, but Ymir just trap him and throws down some freezing and laying down the pain with that ice sp spikes, but they are just going to back out and kind of reset here, although it looks like they might catch Lasis. There's three over on Lasis. A Wukong, they stun him, and they are going to... Kidril throws down his ultimate. Lasis waves out, but it looks like he still might get killed. The monkey ultimate goes down. Lasis does get killed, and... Kiedril throws Hero GG, or High Rock, sorry. And then Ymir coming in with the ultimate. Oh, forcing them to move, but it looks like Ymir does go down. Whew, such excitement here in the middle. And so ESG is going to have to back out here before they, the rest of them get cleaned up. Wolfie throwing down his ultimate, but they're not going to catch Spoo, who is the monkey. Yeah, I think my, I think I got DC from the game. Uh -oh. uh, just people running into shrubs and rocks and stuff. Okay, well, I'll keep it going. I'll keep it going. They are going to push this lane back up here as as uh, Bakasura and Ymir. Well, Ymir is dead. They they do go back, so let me get my train of thought back here. <laughs> so it looks like they're going to split off and kind of go back and farm and get their uh, get their buffs. Here, GG is going to go back to buy. Let's see what Wolfie's doing. He's running through the jungle. He's just running through the jungle. Going to check out stuff. So yeah, it's kind of a little lull right this minute while everybody steps back and resets. Let's see, he's going back mid, and my mouse just failed me. There we go. But it looks like they might try and catch Lasis out here. That Guan Yu is going to get that buff, and Lasis does pull out of the lane and is going to go towards Gold Fury. On her throws down his pillar. Lasis turns around to, to fight, but Spoo is coming there with the monkey. Lasis throws down a little stun, knocks him in the air, puts down some pain on him, and Spoo is going to back out. But Lasis is looking very. Whoa! He gets pinned and ultimated. But he barely makes it out as he uses his ultimate to wave away. Whew. Quite a close Ugh. one for Lasis. Are you getting back in here? So they're going to get this Gold Fury. This is going to be an uncontested Gold Fury for ESG, which will bring their score up to... Uh, they're actually dead even with gold right now, so this could give them a quite a nice lead in gold that will make them feel much more comfortable. Whoa. Yes, it does. Puts them 1,000 gold ahead, since you do get 1,500 from that Gold Fury for the team. All right, so, I'm back. You're back. Ugh. Everybody's mid. Well, three of them are mid. Two more kind of coming in from the side. Ooh, they might. They almost caught somebody like Lasis or Wolfie out of position if they pushed up too far. But no, they will not. Looks like the Sobek is right lane trying to keep this tower from going down. Uh, Vamana, or Ra is pushing left lane pretty hard. But here comes that on her combo with Ymir. Uh, they might be able to get behind him to maybe do some work on this Hero GG? Hero is just not, standing there. Not moving? Oh, there he goes, and he throws down an ultimate and <coughs> then does some stuff. Looks like some servers are having a little bit of issues here. Yeah, he, that was odd. Yeah. I wonder which server they're playing on. I'm not sure. Uh, it looks like on the right lane, we have a bit of a tower dive. Guan Yu does go in and kill Bakasora. Uh, Kiedril trying to pick up this Guan Yu. He misses his dash, and there is no kill for him there. Uh, very unfortunate for Reason Gaming. Uh, that's a two-for-one split. Not a team fight, just two different lanes. Um, and that brings the kill advantage up eight to five. Eight to five for um, for ESG. I think maybe we're having some server issues here because I'm experiencing some funky stuff as well. Can you still hear me? I can. I am totally here still as uh, Kiadrill and Lasis do pick up that red buff, and I think Kiadrill got it. And uh, there's not a whole lot I can do about being too quiet because, uh, you know, I am not uh, I am not on fixies 
thing. Pixie, do you have, have the ability to maybe turn up my uh, speaker I've sound? I've turned you up as loud as I can, man. That's oh. as loud as it goes in the mixer. You can't do anything else. Let me check my uh, Skype here to make sure I'm not some reason. No, I'll just turn this all the way up, see if that helps at all, but I don't think it will. Either way, we'll be good. We'll, we'll make it. We'll make it. Because, I mean, I'm as loud as I can get on, on here. I mean, I'm pegging out my <laughs> pegging out my split. Yeah, I can't do any more myself either. Um, it looks like... Kia, she has pulled oh. out ahead by about... Really what Reason Gaming needs to do is uh, try and take these objectives as, as much as possible. Maybe High Rock and the Squan Yu being caught out. Yeah. And nope, not quite. He ults away. It looks like he will survive. Uh, three members of each team here mid, staring each other off, deciding what's going to happen next. Uh, Wu Kong on the right side, maybe warding. Nope, just popping in there, making sure that nobody's trying to get too cute. And I think we're still going to have some action mid here. There goes that Wu Kong. Maybe think about jumping in and putting that ult down. Uh, it looks like his other teammates are a little too far for that, though. <laughs> Why did that not work? Not sure. Here comes the Ymir. I think they're trying to plant, set something up here. Uh, Lobster putting on his ult charges, trying to harass as much as possible. Uh, Lassie's just tearing up these creep waves. Oh, big wall from Ymir. Can he get the freeze off? Oh, barely. There's a stun on Lassis. Here comes Spoo on this Lassis. Looks like he might be bursted down. I don't think he's got his ult up yet. Nope, there goes the Wukong ult. Lassis will be held down as well. While on her takes this left power for ESGEU. Uh, Young Bay just tearing that bad boy up. Uh, going back to mid lane, Matty Pocket looks to be in trouble here. He hits his ult, regening health as much as possible. Trying to bring down this Honey Badger on that. Ymir, Wolfie well, we thought about going in, but said it's a bad idea. Big fling on High Rock, uh, but has his dash up, gets out of there. Uh, he's still alive. Which Defensive wall out. going up there, so that helped uh, help secure his safety. Yeah. Um, big fight there. It looks like uh, one for nothing. Uh, these exchanges are really starting to whittle away at uh, Reason Gaming. Uh, Lassie's falling a little bit behind. He is at 62-6. Where Spoo is at 7k, um, and really right now, the only people in gold contention for Reason Gaming are uh, this Hebo and this Sobek, surprisingly enough. Um, otherwise, the gold advantage is starting to tick up further and further and further, and you want to see a fat Hebo mid, and not one that's trying to keep up in gold. Yeah, it seems as though uh, Lobster is able to make up his level difference and actually over-leveling Lassis by one level there. And Guan Yu ultimate going down does stun Lassis. And Aegis, he oh. does ult out maybe just enough to keep him alive. Uh, no no ult charge from Lobster on that Agni. Lassis decides to stay back in, trying to keep this tower alive. I think it might be a little too late for that. Nope, just barely survives. They got that creep wave just in time, man. Yeah, uh, looks can, like the EU started this Gold Fury over here as well. They can definitely blow on that tower to take it down. And looks yeah. like ESGEU will get this Gold Fury. They have a couple. They're all kind of streaming in here, but I th think they're going to be able to get it before they get here. Maybe not. Matty Pock going in there. Is he going to ult on top of it and start attacking? Yes, yes, he does. Trying really hard to steal this Gold Fury. Matty Pocket doing work. Who's it going to go to? 36 1, 33. It does go down. Where does it, it resets. <laughs> it does reset. Wow. That was really close. Big Ymir ult and... Oh! oh. Ymir! There we go. Not on this world. This one you has got just a tick of health and I have been disconnected. From and the, the, the Ymir, Ymir went down. Honey Badger went... Or Honey Badger is Ymir. Young Bay went down. Is that on her? And so did High Rock with the Guan Yu. So it is three for none by that Reason Gaming. So they might be able to make a comeback here. They're going to take that Gold Fury and make off with what they can. They are going in after it right now while Agni and uh, Wukong are going to kind of try and farm and stay alive. So they get that they get that Gold Fury, and now they're going to split off and kind of go back. Well, Kiadrill is going back, and they're going to continue to get buffs, push lanes, yeah. do the thing. Finally, Reason Gaming won an exchange there, something that had to happen soon or bust. Uh, they, weren't looking, they weren't looking very good up until that exchange there. Um... Back to gold advantage. It looks like it's just under. It's about 500 gold 
for ESG EU, which is really just nothing uh, at 20 minutes in the game. Mm -hmm. This is a very close game. I mean, it's 8 to 9. ESG a lead with just one kill. Certainly is. Uh, really quickly, looking at the items, uh, we have a Gem of Isolation being built on Hebo, Full Soul Eater, Bakasora, a uh, Void Stone going on Hero GD on that Raw, uh, Tier 2 Stone of Gaia on Medi Pocket, and a Sovereignty being built on Kia Drill for Sobek. Uh, for ESGEU, Full Sovereignty on Ymir, uh, Tier 2 Gem of Isolation on both Agni and Guan Yu, uh, Full Executioner, Tabby, and Heartseeker on uh, on her, and a Void Blade, Full Heartseeker on Spoo. So uh, the items are there to win. Uh, we're talking Heart Seeker stacks. A little bit of survivability with those sovereignties. Um, it looks like maybe right lane might get caught out here. Spoo ults. Guan Yu ult. Wolfie jumps out. Looks like Kia Drill might be okay. Yeah, it seems like he will, but that that Buxer got pretty low by Hyrock. Another missed dash by Kia Drill, and that probably just killed him. It yep. most certainly did. He paid for that in spades. Certainly did, and uh, they might just be able to take this tower down as well. Waiting for that next creep wave coming in right now. Certainly are. Very a little light though, it seems. <laughs> like they uh, lost a few during their melee or creep on creep battling, but they will be able to take out this tower pretty quick, especially with all the physical damage they have there. Yeah, it's just gonna sit there and melt. Um, Lassis and uh, who's this playing again? Lobster. Lobster. That's right. Lassis. And Lobster going at it mid lane, uh, back and forth, just going creep wave after creep wave. One trying to get an advantage over the other, which is not happening. Uh, Wolfie gets back just in time this right lane to save this tier 2 tower. Um, that tower kill and that kill on uh, Kia Drill did put them about 2k uh, gold uh, over uh, Reason Gaming for ESGEU. <clears throat> And it looks like they're pushing this mid tower fairly hard uh, while we have a mana, Hebo, and Sobek going back to regen health, mana, and buy some neat items. You have Spoo, uh, Wukong, and Guan Yu have both gone back, and so did Ymir. Looks like they're going to go stack up for recharge and to get ready to fight. Because they did get, they did steal the uh, buff over here, the green health buff, so. They were able to do that, and I guess they consider that a success, which I would too. Yes, sir. Cut your losses and take off. Now, the question is, do they set up for a Fire Giant here, or are they going to get ready for Gold Fury? Because I think either one is a win here. And the question is, does Reason go and try and take the opposite buff, or do they contest whatever ESG is going after? Mm, well, seeing as how ESG is pretty spread out right now, they probably need to, they need to all get towards Fire Giant, it seems. Because it looks like Fire Giant is going to be the place to be right now. ESG Certainly looks like they're so. kind of drifting their way there. And they might catch Lassis out here in the middle. He's kind of all by himself, and they're coming around from all sides. <coughs> he does have help from two people if he gets out. Yeah, he's fine. Yeah. Uh, not, a bad, uh, not a bad time to use your ult there. Maybe this Honey Badger gets taken down. Not quite, it doesn't look like it. Kiedro, oh no. Oh no. Lassis gets hit hard by that pillar stun combo. Pillar stun ult combo. Yeah. High Rock, oh, he almost gets taken out by the tower, but they are going to be able to clean that up to take a total of four down. Matty Pocket being the only one alive. And that is Big not too good. Ult. So they're going to go over here and take this fire giant really fast. Yes, they are. That was a giant ult from Spoo. And, um,. That's one of the points in a uh, best of three a game here where you have to ask yourself, what can we do to win now? Uh, Fire Giant here, they can get over. I think Gold Fury pops here shortly as well. Two objectives and maybe a tower while these people are down. Uh, we'll have to see. Did Matty Pocket just disconnect and reconnect? I Looks do like know. he might have. Lionheart has left the channel. Thank you for reminding me. It seems that way. He's just kind of sitting in spawn. Yeah, Unless I think he decided to call it quits. I'm done. Screw this. <laughs> no, I think he's reconnected. Uh, and it looks like ESG is going to push this right lane really hard mm. and try and take that tower down. Uh, they've got uh, they've got the creeps for it. They should be able to get that no problem. Uh, Spoo on the left side taking this blue buff, I think. Certainly is. So that'll bring him back up to almost full mana, uh, two-thirds health. And we're going to have to see if Reason can find a way out of this big, big hole that they've dug themselves. Honey Badger and Young Bay are going to be over here, and they're going to take down this, take this cooldown buff, and then looks like they're going to get out, or maybe just go straight to the the uh, attack buff. But Lasis is going over there to try and see what he can do to contend this. 
Yep, and ESG did just grab Gold Fury as well, so that's going to give them a little bit more gold uh, advantage than they had beforehand. It's almost a 7,000 gold difference. ESG in the lead. That's with um, that. yeah, that's that's a that's a big 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 difference. It is pretty significant. Not uncomebackable. No, I guess if not that's at a all. Term. But you know, it it can definitely. They really have to work really hard to come back into this game. And sure, they gotta get some like, good team fights. Yeah, they need to they need to pull something out. They need to pull wrap it out of a hat here to to win this game. Uh, it looks like ESG EU is starting to converge and collapse on mid. Uh, we've got Wolfie and Keadrill for Reason Gaming here mid as well. Ra kind of just hanging back in the tower. Hero GD is going to go back and buy some stuff. Oh, uh, it looks like Maddie might have disconnected again. Oh goodness, is this something we're going to have to redo the game for, or is this? I I don't I don't know the ruling. I don't think they would redo a game with uh, AK Gold Advantage. I don't know what the rules are. I have no idea. Yeah. I, I don't know what the ruling on that would be. It um, is. but go ahead. I was gonna say the remaining four members uh, that are still online of oh no, and I got disconnected. Oh, and then the Lassis gets taken down almost instantly. The the Ymir wall went up, and so did the spear, plugging him to that wall. Spoo does jump out, but Keadrill is after him. Although he is all by himself now, so it is gonna be Keadrill against four members of ESG, and he will die very quickly. Oof. So now it is five up, all four down. All four that are connected down, they're going to take down this Phoenix real fast, and then they're going to go straight to this Minotaur. I would yeah, call this GG. I think this is GG right here. They got I would all agree. five team members in here just burning down this Minotaur. Oh, he's melting. Yeah, melting that's, slowly. That's GG. Uh, unless we hear something differently, that's um, that's a tournament victory for ESG EU. Uh, they played lights out. There was just almost no answer uh, for how they were playing perfect ganks, uh, great positioning. They built to win. Uh, not a whole lot you can do about that, you know? Nope, definitely not. It is. It was an amazing game. Uh, I mean, wow. This is not what I expected at all from the, uh, you know, our pre, our pre uh, predictions because ESG EU has never really put on quite this kind of show. Granted, it's always been that they've usually matched up with uh, BLG EU or some other strong team earlier in the you know the bracket, and so usually they got knocked out early. So seeing them move on this far and take out Reason Gaming and BLG right. EU, and who else did they take out? Was any? Let look me look at the, at the brackets bracket here. here. Um, let's see. No, they didn't really have too many. Like, they did take out a uh, team. No, that wasn't Team Legion. Or did they? They already been. Hmm. ESG beat up. BLG EU. Mm -hmm. They did. I mean, that's not a compliment. BLG EU is playing super strong right now. It was they playing are. Uh, super strong. They, I mean, they they got there. They deserved it. They worked for it. You know. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. I got so many messages. <laughs> um, I am Join going. <laughs> yeah, I am going to uh, put up the overlay and maybe hit some music just to make sure everything is fine and maybe do a quick interview before I log off. Uh, we'll, we'll be back in just a moment. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you guys for watching this lovely recording of this. Uh, as it does seem, unless we hear something else, well, I'll put it in the com in the description if something else happens after this game. But currently, ESG EU is the winner of the WOGL tournament, and congratulations to them. They played extremely well. Thank you guys for watching this, and tune in to BLGaming.com for all your coverage of tournaments and all sorts of fun stuff. I hope I have not made this sound too loud because we were trying to adjust for for streams being quiet stuff like that so thank you all for watching and catch us next time